What's going on everybody and welcome back to my channel. I know it's been a little while since I posted my last video, so I thought today, what better way to do a new video than show you guys something that to date is still one of my favorite builds, and that's my Lego Batcave mock. Uh, I have posted a couple of videos probably about a year or two ago, uh, but it was just a quick overview of the actual cave. Um, I've never really done a in-depth view of the cave. And I've had so many of you ask me in my comments, you know, can you please do an in-depth view? Uh, how many bricks have you used? How many lights have you used? Um, the size of the actual cave? So many questions. So I thought what better way to answer them all by doing an actual in-depth view. So with that being said, guys, please remember to give this video a big thumbs up if you like it. Also, drop a comment down below on your thought of the actual back cave. Um, and some ideas you might have on finishing it because I haven't quite finished it yet. Still got a little bit to go, final touches, but hey, you might have some ideas on what I can do to finish it or should I leave it the way it is and just finish off the, uh, the walls? I don't know, I'm asking for you guys to give me some advice. So also one last thing before we do get into the video, I just wanna say another big thank you for everybody who's been subscribing to my channel. We have almost hit 500 subscribers, which is amazing. And I did say in my last video that I would be giving away a Lego set Hulkbuster once we hit 500 subscribers to one lucky subscriber. And guys, we are almost there. We have got about 440 subscribers. We are almost there, another 60, and I get to give this away to one lucky subscriber. So please remember, drop a comment down below of what you think of the back cave. Give this video a thumbs up if you like it. And also, please remember to hit the subscribe button to show your support, and one of you guys can win this Hulkbuster set, which I will be sending off to anyone that is around the world or even in Australia. So, without further ado guys, please sit back, enjoy this video, and let's go through the Lego back cave. So guys, here is the overview of the back cave. Uh, we will start off from the left hand side and work our way through the cave. I'll also give you an in-depth tour of the back computer that I've done. So as you can see, I haven't finished the rock work, I'm still um, getting through it. Uh, so I'm, I'm indecisive like I was mentioning earlier, whether to completely close the cave completely or leave it half open so you can get a bit of a look uh, at the cave. Uh, so tell me what you think, uh, like I was saying, drop a comment down below, tell me what you think I should do. Should I leave it open, half closed, or completely close the entire cave? I'd love to hear your thoughts on that. So let's jump into it. Starting off with the left hand side, we have the jail cell, where we have Poison Ivy, Mr. Freeze, and Two-Face. And we've got Bane here trying to blow them out with some dynamite. So I've done a ladder, done a ladder just over here, as you can see. So Batman can get access if he has to and probably take down Bane. So that is the holding cell. And I've raised it up on some rock work, as you can see. So, moving along, we have the famous Batmobile. Now this is a custom build that I did, and I chose the 1989 Batmobile because it is one of my favorites. So, absolutely love the look of that car. Which car is your favorite from the movie? Is yours the 1989, or do you like Batman Forever? Batman and Robin, Batman Begins, you know, um, let us know which Bat cave, Bat cave, which Batmobile is your favorite. But that is mine, guys. 1989. Absolutely love it. So, we've got the stairwell, stair ladder here that leads you up to the back computer. So, from there, we come up. And this is where all the investigating goes on with Batman and Robin and there's Alfred bringing them down a beverage so that will be technically that would be the entrance from Wayne Manor coming down to the Batcave 
as you can see right over here. And so this is my custom working back computer. Um, I used an iPhone 4 and I then edited my own video with the Lego Batman movie intro to start with and then I have a, like a computer interface um, playing through after that which I'll give you a bit of a look as we go through the cave. Um, so that's probably one of the favourite things I have in the cave. There's a lot of parts of the cave that are my favourite but this is probably number one is the back computer. Absolutely love it. So I've just housed it around the Lego and the screen I can actually take this whole part out so I can charge the iPhone and then I can pop it back in. So I'll give you a bit more of a look on that. So that is the back computer. Moving along, we've got some stairs coming up here to get into the bat wing. Um, and I particularly like this bat wing, which is why I chose it. Um, I just reckon it looks really cool and neat. Uh, so I've done a, an entrance to get in and out of the cave for the bat wing. So I'll just give you a bit of an idea on the sizing of that. So the, the bat wing actually does fit through there. I, I did design it to make sure that the bat wing can fit through there. Um, and as you can see, filling up the cave with bats, you've got to have bats in a cave. So that is the bat wing. Moving down, we come down the ladder from the back computer. And we have the bat suits. So as you can see, you can walk down through here, walk along. These doors all open up. As you can see, I'll just quickly open one. So they all open up. So Batman can choose his suit and so can Robin. So this is probably the second favorite thing I've got in the cave. Moving along, then you've got the bat boat. Now, I chose the Lego Batman movie bat boat because I just reckon it's sleek and it looks great. It's got a bit of red to break up the black, but the overall design of the boat I really like, which is why I've chosen that one. So, then we've got the little ladder here. You can walk into the boat. Now, the actual back cave size is on eight 32 stud base plates, or 25 centimeters by 25 centimeters. So I've used eight of those base plates um, to get it to the size that I want. So here is some more rock work. I've done some lamps hanging down through. Now we've got another entrance, and these doors do open up for the bat bikes. I thought every cave has to have bat bikes. So we've got a couple there. Moving along, we've got Batman and Robin's little gym workout area. As you can see and a sick bay. Now, to the right of the sick bay, there is the back gear. Nice and simple, I just did a nice wall with all these batarangs and hooks and everything. Moving along. I had to have a waterfall. I think every cave needs a waterfall. So I did a nice waterfall and I thought to light it up, which would give it a bit of extra something. So when you go down the waterfall, now I also thought it'd be pretty cool to have Batman's little jet ski, which I also used from the Lego Batman movie. I just thought it was pretty cool. And I thought I'd create the scene where he's eating the lobster in his in his jet ski. So I thought that was a really nice touch. Had to have that in the cave. 
Now, further through here, we have the trophy room. So, I saw the trophy room. He's had it in the Lego Batman movie and, uh, and a few other animated series. So, I thought, you know what? I need to put in a trophy room. So, we've got the Joker card on the left. We've got uh, Riddler's hook. We've got Catwoman's whip, Poison Ivy. We've got Mr. Freeze's gun and his helmet and shield. So, definitely had to have a trophy room, which I thought was really neat. Which has got access to, from both sides here and on the other side. And so the water from the waterfall, the water comes straight through here. And then ideally runs through underneath the rocks and comes out through here. Got another little waterfall here. And down and continues there where penguins also trying to break into the cave. He's not going to get far though once Batman gets a hold of him. So, various use of rock work. Um, I've tried to make it as realistic as possible. Uh, you know, when doing a cave, um, it is a lot of work and takes a lot of patience because it's just very repetitive. Um, but it's slowly getting there. So, and then plus, as I'm building, um, for some people that have asked me, I actually build the lights while I'm actually uh, building the, the uh, cave. So I, it's, it's a lot easier when you're doing something custom to add the lights while you're building. So yeah, as I've been going through, I add the lights where I want. Uh, in terms of how many bricks I've used, because that's another question people ask me, I've probably used well over, I'd say 15,000 bricks. I'd say I haven't counted, but including all the little pieces, all these little individual pieces, definitely would be close to 15,000. Maybe a bit less, I don't know. I'd say, I'd say let's say 10, between 10 and 15,000 bricks, I would say. Um, but yeah, like, I've still got quite a bit to go. Uh, I don't know if I want to close it like I mentioned earlier, but I'm so far I'm very happy with the layout and I'm happy with how it's come out. And everything that I wanted to include in the back cave, I, I did include. There's no right or wrong. A lot of people ask me, you know, what should you add in the cave? What should be in a back cave? It honestly depends on what you want, um, what you're trying to recapture and, you know, um, the, the type of theme or which Batman era you're trying to go for. I had a little bit of everything. I wanted to do a mixture of everything. I had a bit of the Lego Batman movie. I've had a little bit of, you know, Batman Returns and, um, you know, the, the 1989 uh, Batman movie, which is my absolute favorite. So I really try to capture a little bit of everything in the cave and then also give it my own, my own touch and feel, um, which I'm really happy about. So, in terms of final details, I think I've done most of the details. I still have a little bit of tiling um, and a little bit of detail on some of the rock work through the cave that I need to do. Uh, and then it's just a matter of finishing up all this top part here and either decide to, like I said, close it or leave it. Okay guys, thank you for watching the in-depth video of my back cave. I hope you enjoyed it and I hope I answered all the questions you might have had. If I haven't, just drop a comment down below and I will answer the questions about the cave. With that being said also, please remember to hit the subscribe button and also smash the like button, it would be greatly appreciated. And I will leave you with one last thing for this video and that will be the uh, complete overview of the back computer in action because I've only ever done small snippets of it. And I've never actually shown anybody the full uh, video that's on the back computer. So, guys, sit back, enjoy that, and have a great day. And we'll see you in our next video.
protection against by the so-called scarecrow. Though the Batman didn't want the arson, he failed to catch the murder. Thank <laughs> you.